All right, so for my Charizard EX deck, we are running two of this specific Charmander with the Blazing Destruction because Path to the Peak is a pain in the ass. Uh, two of the Pidgey with Call for Family, just in case. As you saw, it did come in use right in the beginning. We have three Charizard EXs, all different arts, uh, actually, for this one. Uh, one Rotom V for the instant charge draw power at the end of our first turn normally. Sometimes it can be later too, but more or less you just want to use it on first turn. Mew, of course, with Mysterious Tail. Another Charmander with Heat Tackle. Because honestly, sometimes you just need to do that third damage, and it actually had to come into play one time against randoms. So, uh, Entai V uh, for Fleet Footed Ability, and Burning Rondo is not a bad backup option for attacks. Two Pidgeotti Xs for the Quick Search, as you saw. Uh, the one Charmander with the four, uh, 70 HP and 40 attack also has come into play once. Uh, Manaphy, uh, Charmeleon, with a 70 attack, which, like the other two Charmanders, has come into play one time. And then Radiant Charizard, just because if I'm hurting at the end, at 250 attack and uh, do quite a bit of work and help. And then for our trainer cards, we have one Counter Catcher, one Escape Rope, four Rare Candy, one Level Ball, two Super Rod, one Forest Seal Stone, one Professor's Research, two Artisan, four Battle VIP Passes, three Boss's Orders, three Iono, four Arvin, one Technical Machine De-Evolution. Doesn't come up often, comes up rare, rarely, but it does still come up. One Lost Vacuum, one Collapse Stadium, three Ultra Balls, and two switches, just in case we need to rotate on our field. And then finally, just eight fire energy. All right, guys, so let's get into the battles. All right, guys, so as you can see, we're going to be playing with our Charizard EX deck this time. Last time we played with Roaring Moon and got our butt sort of handed to us by our nephew, followed by three consecutive wins. So this time, I'm hoping we can do the opposite. Well, not so much the opposite, but beat the nephew and maybe like one win out of the three uh, with the randoms online, so I'll also go over the deck after this one because I sort of forgot to do that, but I'll chop it and edit it so it's the other way around for you guys. So you can see the deck first before. Also, I did get the uh, mic auxiliary to work this time. Apparently it was linked up to a different mic, and yeah, so whatever. Let's get into it. Uh, as always, we'll go Tails. Tails only semi-fails, so, uh, you know what, we'll go second. One, because I know he's playing Roaring Moon, and I know he'd love to go second, so. This deck actually works for either, you know, like, if you go first or second. Preferably, you'd still want to go second, because you want them to take the lead in the prize pool. We'll see what he does. Not really sure what I want to do. Ooh, that had to hurt. Because obviously you don't want to put out Luminion first. You definitely want to hold that in your hand, so it must have been a bad pull. I mean, Radiant Greninja is not a bad choice. I also want to start showing uh, my real life decks in conjunction with these. So, like, if I have this, let's say I built this deck, and I sort of am, I'm just waiting on some cards, uh, I would have shown that version of it prior. Alright, let's see, so, how do I want to do this? Honestly, seeing as we can't do anything anyways, might as well just do that. Uh, let's get rid of that, Manape. Uh, da, 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 da. Put throw Rotom down for the three card pull here in a second. Oh, but I can't because then I. Mm. Well, I didn't really think that through too well. I shouldn't put the energy on. But. I have to do it this way. That's a bummer. I misplayed. Uh, da, 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 da. 
but we have we have to get Charmander's out just in case we pull a rare candy. You know what I'm saying? I normally never actually play the Pidgey, like as a Pidgey. I have it out when it's needed, like such as when I opened it, opened up with it. But other than that, normally it's just to get the Pidgey out. I'm fine with that. That gets me more cards. Come on, let's see what he gives us. <sighs> Definitely not the best. He got rid of Clara. Hmm. And then he'll use Concealed Guard. Oh, he's already done that. And he is just burning through that deck. That is the one downside to Roy Moon. As some other players have noticed when they've gone against a Roaring Moon player, if you put them, their Roaring Moon down to like a low HP, they're still going to knock themselves out. So, unless if you're in the lead, not recommended. If you can't kill in one shot, don't, don't fight it. We're definitely going to agree with that Pokey stop, let me just tell you. Or should I let him keep milling? Because maybe I'll win by deck out. <laughs> Alright, what can we do with our poll? Good. How do I want to do this? Okay, I think we want to do this, right? Oh, wait, 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 no, 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 no. Where, where's the button? No, 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 I'm not used. To, there we go. I'm used to playing on mobile, so uh, give me a second. There we go. What? Where'd it go? Oh, yeah, because it's non AX. Oh, balls. Whatever, we'll take this one. All right, and we will retreat. Put you up there. Take this. Sure, that'll still work. All right, now we're on a roll. Um, we definitely want the rare candy. The switch would have been good, but we'll take that. Ah, uh, da da. Then we'll do that. Junk both those because they are no longer of any use. Oh, actually, do that. Throw that on you. Take you. We're going to use you early just because I want to get an Evolved out. Especially before that Dark Rye can pop off. Oh shit. What did I take? Spec board. Oh, I took the Charizard now. Woo. I would have whiffed that. I was about to take another Charizard. I was like, wait a minute. I'm going to pop off with you. Throw it on the heat tackle. Alright, so then one, uh, two, oh, come on, uh, two, throw you on that. I can't retreat though because I already done that, right? Yep. But at least I can retreat next turn. Um, what else can we do? We got one and one, so no point in using you. So then we'll just draw three cards in turn. Oh, we got our switch. Hell yeah. As long as we can live this turn, which we should be able to, we should be fine. I think what we'll do... Also, a reason I'm talking really quiet again is because he's just on the other side of the door. Um, I think I'll pull out the boss's order, pull the dark Darkrai up, murder said Darkrai. So, at least hopefully, before he can kill mine.
Why is he not pulling out a Roaring Moon? There's no way in hell all four of his are in the prizes. Right? Like, that's that's a very low chance. Like, what are the odds that four would be in the six prizes? I mean, I know he can't pull the Roaring Moon with Artisan, but... I think I'll take the free knockout and hit up more Pico. At least that's what I'm leaning towards right now, so. Alright. I mean, would I have minded throwing out Rotom? No. But he can't attack me with more Pico anyways, who cares? Alright, so how do we want to do this? We want to... Well, he's yelling no for whatever reason. Well, that's not what I meant to do. Whatever, we'll just throw that out. I meant to go into quick search first, not retreat first, but what you gonna do? Uh, da, 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 da. That's basically all I can do right now. We'll just hit it. Right? That's what I want to do? Yeah. Can't kill it this turn, but that's fine. It'll die next turn. His dark right can get too strong too quick, so. And technically we have a waiting Charizard in back. Why is he doing that? I mean, he could have just attacked. Does he have anything else he can pull with that? Oh yeah, I forgot. He has Bidoof. Why wouldn't he have pulled that out earlier? I'm so confused. I mean, I get why he's doing that. Well, I guess no matter what, we'll pull out another boss's order, because I gotta kill that. Oh, look, he finally got a Roaring Moon. Good for him. Alright, now let's just see if he uses the V Star ability, because if he doesn't, I'm 100% killing it next turn. Yeah, that's fine. Take him. He didn't do it, so we have to kill it. There's absolutely nothing else we could do except murderize him. Uh, so we have to do it this way. He should have used the ability. Well, the V-Star power, not the ability, but... <laughs> Ooh, we got the rare candy, hell yeah. Let's see, that's smart. That's smart, because then he'll hit me for the 70. Be able to swap out. Do what, 220? Still not enough, so you have to do gouging. So we have to make sure Charizard's ready in the back. But, oh, wait, if he does more Pico and swaps into his Roaring Moon, 
As long as we hit it, it'll also die, so I'm fine with that. 100%. And he is down to 6 cards. I hope he realizes that. Because I don't want to win by knockout. I, I mean, back out. I'd rather win by knockout, so... Sounded like he messed up again. No, that's fine. I'm fine with that. Okay, so how do we want to do this one? Obviously we're doing this. Is there a point to doing this now? Uh, psychic, grass. I mean, I guess I could do that. Let's kill the Luminion. This way, if he hits himself out, it won't matter. Because I'm a win and won't get a tie. Because I'm pretty sure he'll put the Roaring Moon up now, right? Oh, he did Hoopa. Oh, that's unfortunate. Let's see, so that's 245, 250. Oh, I would live. I would live by one. One little one little hit counter. So actually that wasn't a bad play on him. I'm happy I didn't attach a third one. Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What else do I have? Sure. Not that that matters, but... Oink. Nice. Um... Yeah, I would have to. So let's just do that. Did I get rare candy? I did not, so we'll just hit. <laughs> if he frenzy gouging me, which is the only way he can knock mine out, he'll also get knocked out and I'll still win. And if not, then I'll just hit him with Burning Darkness again. But as a Roaring Moon player, he should want to sacrifice the Roaring Moon to get the guaranteed hit. Fair enough. Ooh. He's actually gonna get killed. Good for him. Now he can literally kill any of the bench. Except uh, Pidgeot. And, oh no, he could kill that Charizard too. Which is fine. I don't mind. Because either way, a Charizard was going to fall. I 
I was wondering how hard, how why that was taking so long. It shouldn't have been a hard decision at all. Don't know why he did that either. But maybe he didn't want to use Pokestop anymore. I sure shit wasn't gonna. Say bye bye to Roaring Moon. <laughs> you know, let's just throw one on there just because. Alright, boop. <laughs> Alright, at least we made up for last time. Like I said, either way a Charizard was going to fall, I just didn't know which one he was going to kill. So. Alright guys, so like I said, we will... Oh, that's weird. Let's switch over to rank. We are still stuck in Bulbasaur. I have been having issues getting out of Bulbasaur. I have gone down to Snubble once and then climbed back into Bulbasaur. The highest I think I've been is like 540. So the fact that I'm going against consistently 600 and hires has not helped. All right, so what are we playing? They chose heads. They got heads. Like I said, it doesn't really matter which we get if we go first or second. Preferably second would still be ideal because of the fact that we get to play the supporter cards and we want them to be able to attack us, but we still want to be set up for the next turn. So this time we will just throw a Mew and be done with it. Ooh, they had to take two mulligans, so at least we get two free cards. So that's awesome. Might not matter. But we'll see. Yeah, I'm taking two. Shoot. Alright, we even got another Pidgey. Hell yeah. So we already got our Pidgey combo right here. But, I mean, that still takes one extra turn after. Oh, man, the Lunatones. Which means, you know, as a fact, they have the Solar Rocks. Yep, here they are. And the Greninjas to get the energies in there to start everything off. I can beat this with both Charizard and Roaring Moon. It is just a pain in the butt. And it can be difficult depending on what I end up drawing. Because that Moon Kinesis can hit quite a bit depending on how many energies they get on a single one. And then with all the Soul Rocks, they can rotate that just right on back. It basically gets out of hand real quick, real fast. And as you can see, they are trying to dump the psychic energies in so they can, with the sun energy, reattach them to Luna Tone. It's one energy per soul rock, so I mean, once they get their full bench set up, they get three per turn. And again, it gets crazy out of hand shortly after that. Uh. Am I going to care that they kill Mew? Probably not. I should, but I really don't care. Because all these are just single retreat costs. Yes, yeah, so I'm not going to bother wasting my boss's order on that. Alright, so let's just Charmander. All Beji. Um... I don't want to do anything else for my hand. Yeah, screw it. We'll help them out a little bit to refill their hand for them. Alright, then. Let's do this. Oh, actually, that works. Uh, just in case. I don't think it'll come in play, but. It might. And then we'll throw another Charmander down, just to be safe. That way, no matter what, next turn we can at least Arvin and get the rare candy that way. Alright. Huh? 
Because at the very most, all he'll be able to kill is one of the Charmanders. So this way we don't get completely screwed out of our Charm Charizard play, so. So far I don't know which deck I'm liking better. Rory Moon still has the uh, quicker end potential. Because I mean, Rory Moon, if all they do is have the one Pokemon out because they didn't think you had anything anyways, you just swap Rory Moon up, insta-kill. What kind of ball are you getting? That's what I'm assuming they're pulling with Arvin, but just get another Lunatone. Oh no. Alright. I'm going to Fog Crystal, of course, but... Like, how do I want to proceed? Obviously I want to kill the Soul Rocks, but do they have a fourth or a way to get them back? That I don't know. And that might be how they got their Lunar Tone, right? Yep. But either way, that's only, what, 30? It's 30 more, so 120, maybe? But uh, Charizard EX doubles damage on them, too, so... But I'm assuming they'll have more Lunatones in hand. If not, just quicker ways to get them too. So there's no way they're just running two. Well, there's one. Bye-bye. Oh, the Rescue Carrier. Or whatever that's called. Oh, it gets two basic Pokemon, I believe, from the discard to hand. I always want to say Graveyard. I'm just used to it calling that, but it is the discard pile, so... Yep, that's perfectly fine with me. Oh no, I lost a Mew. I mean, I'm sad with the Mew loss, but... Oh, even got the rare candy. Didn't have to use it. Of course we're gonna... That'd be sad not to. Let's get rid of the first Lunatone, he'll bring up the second, of course, and then he'll have like five energy on it. So that'd be what? Oh, might have six. Uh, I have seven even. Seven is only 210, so I'm still not too worried about that. Huh. See, like I said, it doesn't always come into play, especially against this deck in particular right now. But. So at most he'll get seven. And then he'll use the rescue carrier thing in his hand, or whatever it's called. The thing that looks like a mini washing machine on wheels. Come on, dude. I already know what you're going to do. Do it. You have the two Lunatones in there already. Okay. Honestly, I really don't care if you kill that. It's 180. He has to do the last one. It's 210. Right? Because it does the 30 plus. So it should be 210. Did you not have another energy in it before that? I well, guess not. Damn. And there goes the rescue carrier to get the other two Lunatone back. Thank you. So already got three. I need to get one more at least. Because then all I need is one energy on Radiant. 
Now, can you get... Like, if they take four or whatever, right? I mean, five. So you're down to one. Oh, okay. Got that again. Um... hit screw it like this could end up biting me in the butt later but most that'll have is five so 50 I could have probably played this more optimally too. Ooh. Oh, what am I gonna wanna do? Like Lunatone would be a good kill, right? Move one energy from this Pokemon to one of your bench, 160. So if I have less than 160 and it only does like 150 or whatever, which that wouldn't be right. That'd only be 310. Uh I think swapping would be ideal. But right now it's only at 150 right now. Are you gonna swap with? Okay. confused. Why did they attack? All oh, cycle draw. Alright. Obviously Mewtwo's gonna be able to attack, but I'm fine with that. Hey you little Charmander, how you doing buddy? I don't really have a whole lot of commentary on here right now because I don't know exactly what they're trying to do. Like, you gotta realize your psychic Pokemon are just gonna get one shot at every time, right? And you, for some reason, refuse to do damage to my Charizards. You had the free hit on the mana, but you didn't take it. Let's act as 100 damage to each opponent's V, which I don't have any. Uh, discard up to 3, this attack does 90 damage for each. Oh, I'm fine with that too. Shit, man, kill my Charizard. <laughs> Wait, he just put that on the Lunatone? Why? I read that right, right? Discard up to three energy from your... Oh, from any poke. Okay, that makes more sense. So, 90, 90, 180, 360. Yeah, that'll still kill it. That's fine. I still got my backup Charizard, so... 
20 bosses orders have we played two and so they might still have one more just to get the last hit which would be a pain in the butt but oh it doesn't do 90 plus it does 90 times okay still very confused but bye Come on, buddy, bring your Lunatone out. You'll be able to kill my Charizard. You know you want to. You want to poke him. You want to make that Charizard cry before I can go get healed at the Poke Center. Because it'll do 90, and that's enough to kill that one. But then we'll both be able to... Then we'll both be down to one prize, but my Charizard will finish it, so... See, that is the one downside of relying on Lunatone. Like I said, I can pretty much beat this deck every time I come up against it. It's just a long, drawn out, and then if I misplay, I end up losing. Or if I don't get the cards I need, of course, but that's the same with every deck. If you don't get the cards you need, you're going to lose, so. Yep, come on, kill the Charizard, or you, you know you want to. Come on, do Moon Kinesis. I forget what that does. Does is it just thirty damage more? What's, what's luxury cape? If the uh, doesn't have a robots, it gets if it's knocked out. But damage, the player takes one more. If the Pokemon this card is attached to doesn't have a rule box, it gets plus one hundred. If it is knocked out by damage from an attack of one of your opponent, the player okay. Okay, and Charizard's still gonna finish it, so. I thought it did something else, that's why I was so confused. I was like, why is he going all in on that? Oh, there's my super rod. Alright guys, just remember, you do win some, you lose some. Important things not to give up. Holy, hey, new record for me, sweet. Now we're gonna play one more, unless if it's super short, because the last two have run a little long, so. So whether or not it's a win or lose, we will end after this one, because we're already at 40 minutes and I still gotta edit it down. I'm, I try to keep them around 30 to 40. I don't like going higher than that. Zap Ditto. Hell you doing, uh, Zap Ditto? As always, we will choose Tails. Wow, Tails has been popping up a lot lately. Do I want to go first? Nah. Like I said, I can go first. I just don't like going first still. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, oh, here you go. Nice little Rotom for you. Ba -bum 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 -ba -na -na -na. I know Charizard X is not like the top tier deck. I think it's what still Gardevoir or something, at least from what I hear. Ooh, another Roaring Moon. Man, Roaring Moon's all over the uh, ladder lately again. And this is another reason why we didn't go first, uh, because if I play the Charmander and only one Charmander, uh, Roaring Moon could just easily knock it out and prevent me from doing anything else after that. But if it kills my Rotom, then my Charizard is already powered up. So I'm also fine with that. Ooh, that's basically the same kind of deck I got. Better rarities on the Ultra Balls, though, I'll tell you that. Yep, we're both got that one to you. And that's actually the Moltres I have in real life, that one right there. I just thought the art looked better. Yep, smart thing. 
That's a bit of a bummer, but makes sense. Alright, so what do we want to do here? Um, definitely this. Throw this. Get one of you, one of you. Oh no, what was I coming in here for? Uh, probably one of you. Question is, you know what? Fuck it. We have a lot of items in here. We could definitely use some. Yeah, the switch ain't bad. I was really hoping for the Arvin, but I think we junked one. No, we didn't. Cool. So, but they could be here. They could be here. Who knows? Oh, escape rope, really? You're not gonna just want to kill my Rotom? That sort of makes me sad. It's like a prime target for you. It's just sitting there. If they're running Greninja, I'm assuming it's in their prize pool. Because otherwise they would have used it first turn, right? Doesn't need to use Frenzy Gouging, which is a bummer, but... At least we did get our Arvin, so that's dope. The evolution's pointless, so... And this is pretty pointless as well. Considering he'll just kill it next turn. But we gotta at least try to get some damage in. And hope for the best. Alright, we gotta see probe super rad, super rad. There's nothing in here except the one energy, one Pokemon. Like so close. Oh wait, actually. No, because then he'll just use more peak. Oh, I don't want to do that. That's stupid. Alright. We're probably going to have to Iono next turn. One, because his hand's way too large as it is. And he'll get less. Well, we'll get at least the six, so... Kill it though. Oh, that's fine, dude. Thank you for that. At least we got the Pidgey. I get another Charmander. I mean, unless we pull a rare candy. I mean, not rare candy, but the Charizard. I'll have to Iono instead of Arvin. And that's 100% expected. Well, he did give me two prizes though, so that's nice. We got the boss's order, so if nothing else we can get a... Uh, maybe a free shot, but... He's gonna do more Pico, right? That's the only smart play to do. There you go. Uh, didn't get what we needed. That's irritating.
My previous hand was actually better. That's unfortunate. Um. I'll do 30. Fuck it. There's not much else I could really do on that one. Sort of screwed myself with the Iono. But this is also how it goes on the ladder for me. Like, I'll win one, I lose like two or three. We're gonna have to throw that out. Oh my god. That's not good. Whatever. We'll do this. Just to try to thin out the deck a little bit. Can't really do anything else, so... GG, man. GG. You know what? How long was that one? That was like seven minutes. You know, screw it. Let's do one more. Can't end on a second Rory Moon, right? Who are you playing? Like I said, with the Rory Moons, it's really if you can get your cards, and I just couldn't get the ones I actually needed that time, which was unfortunate. Ah, uh, no, I don't want to go first. I mean, plus side, at least I get a free draw on this one, so. What are you? You have anything? Oh, Mew. Okay. I mean, that doesn't really 100% say it's one of the Mew decks, but it's probably one of the Mew decks. Deck cost for lots of your opponent's single... For each of your opponent's single strike, rapid strike, and fusion strike. Well, luckily I have none of that, so. Alright, so battle VIP. Um... Take obviously another one just in case he kills one, and then you. All right, then. Uh, I don't want to do this. Whatever. Unfortunately, I have all my energy essentially in my hand. That's a bummer. That's all. I think that's the smart thing, right? Throw one more on you. Use this. Let me shuffle this book and all the cards attached to your deck. Search your deck for an energy card and attach to one of your freezer strike. And what are you? Just a regular one? Yep. Um. 
120. Either way, I'm not killing something, so let's do this. Actually, you know what? Let's get rid of that. And you. 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 Let's get rid of an Arvin. That's fine. I don't know what the belt does. I should have looked. Oh, wait. I can't. There we go. Let's see what that does. Next. Active V. Okay. So that's fine. I think we'll just get rid of Lost City, to be honest. All right. Then we'll do this. Get a pity at. There you are. Hey, buddy. Play that. A quick search. Oh, no. It's because I just evolved it. Anyways. Yeah, we'll do it. Stack also does 60 damage when you're one of your Pokemon. Okay. I'm fine with that. It'll be close to killing me. I think it'll take me down to, what, 10? So that's unfortunate, but... Okay, sure. Oh no, he hurt my Pidgey. Uh, da, 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 da. Might as well get one. Oh, I have none. Ah, oh, that's sad. Gotta put one on you. Uh, da, 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 da. Quick search. Alright, you know what? You wanna do it that way? Nah, I don't think we'll stoop, because otherwise I'll mess things up. doesn't seem to matter at the moment, so I guess we'll just take we'll take one in hand. Might as well have two. Alright, then we'll retreat. If you can't get something other than that Mew, dude, Mew's dead next turn. All right, never mind. We have all our boss's orders. Yeah, I've seen that card get played a lot. I really don't know what it does. I was to say, did you just basically, uh... Okay. Sure. I mean, a win's a win, but I, I don't like winning like that, to be honest. I'd rather still knock them out than basically them give up. Alright, so as you can see, we are at 550 for the uh, Bulbasaur. Hopefully, maybe next time when we try the Meraden, Meraden deck, uh, we'll get up there. Either that or maybe we'll continue playing Charizard. Who knows? Anyways, guys, let me know what you thought of this deck and what you would do to change it if you were to play it yourself. I know there's plenty of different options, and I know that mine may not be the most ideal, but as you saw, it did win 3 out of 4. So, I mean, that's still pretty cool, right? And I came close in that last, uh, the one I did lose, but, you know, not really. I was way off on that one, if we're being honest. So, uh, again, we have, I'm, I have something in the works with another content creator. I don't know if they want me to tell who they are yet or not, so I'm just leaving that part vague. Uh, we will be opening up a new product, uh, the Paldean Fates. Uh, a sealed box, the sealed trainer box, a, one of those mini tin ones and like a booster pack bundle thing and then we will be building our decks with that you know with just what we open uh so it's like what i used to do with the Yu-Gi-Oh products so if you've seen any of those videos you know exactly what i'm talking about we will build the deck and then we will battle each other on here so i should hopefully have enough of these up here to uh, make a deck with whatever cards i do open and i'm actually really looking forward to that because i want to see what they bring as well especially with just being from that sealed set minus so basically not 
everything from that's what we open is what we will be building with outside of the energies because we, we may not get all the energies we need so energies are the only things we can add in all free so but everything else trainers pokemon special energy whatever we get from that set is what will be in the deck so hopefully uh it turns out great and you guys enjoy that because i would love to do more of that with them or even someone else i'm f open up to anybody who wants to try that kind of content so hope you like this battle uh this deck showcase of charizard ex and uh guys see you next time